is a story about the wooden tops. There was Mummy wooden top and the baby, and Daddy wooden top. Then there were Willie and Jenny the twins, and Mrs. Scrubbit who comes to help Mummy wooden top, and Sam who helps Daddy wooden top, and last of all, the very biggest spotty dog you ever did see. And they all lived together in a little house in the country. One morning, when Mummy Woodentop was getting the dinner ready and busy doing the housework, she left Baby Woodentop in the garden in his pram. She thought he was asleep, but when she looked out of the door, she saw he was busy throwing his blanket onto the ground. And there he was, banging on his pram and calling for Mummy to come and pick it up. But Mummy Woodentop had already picked it up over and over again. So she called out to him, I can't come now, Baby Woodentop. I'm busy. So you must be a good boy, and I'll come out as soon as I can. Now, although Baby Woodentop couldn't talk, he knew quite well what Mummy Woodentop meant. So he bounced up and down in his pram and shouted at the top of his voice. When he saw that Mummy Woodentop wasn't coming out, he got tired of shouting and leaned over the pram to see if he could reach the blanket himself. And when Mummy Woodentop saw that, she thought he might fall over. So out she came to put his blanket back. And she said, There you are. Now don't throw it out any more. There's a good boy. When she'd made sure that he was properly strapped in, she went back into the house. And as soon as she'd gone in, Baby Wooden Top began to throw his blanket out all over again. But Mummy Wooden Top didn't come, so he began to cry louder. Then Mummy Woodentop thought perhaps there was something wrong. So she came running out and she said, What's the matter now? What's all this noise about? Let me have a look. I don't believe there's anything the matter at all. And of course there was nothing the matter with him. He only wanted to have his blanket picked up. So Mummy Woodentop settled him down again, and then she said, Now, that's the very last time I'm going to pick up your blanket, so it's no good you're throwing it out any more. Do you hear that, young man? And in she went. As soon as she'd gone, he threw it out again. And he was just going to call out when he heard footsteps. He looked over to the gate, and there were his brother and sister, Willie and Jenny. Now, you know that Willie and Jenny are twins, don't you? And that they are exactly alike. Sometimes they play at doing things exactly alike. You know, doing everything together. If Mummy Woodentop asks them to sit down, they do this. Both together. And if she wants them to stand up, they do this. Both together. And when they go for a walk, they go like this. Both together. And when they stop, they stop like this. Both, Both together. together. And when they talk, they very often talk like this. Oh, look at Baby. Look, look what he's, he's done. done. He's thrown his blanket out. out. 
He's always throwing things out of his pram. Babies always do. I expect you did when you were a baby. Ha <laughs> ha. And Mummy Woodentop said, Yes, you did. And she picked up the blanket. Then she said, Bring baby in, will you, children? You can go out again after. So they took hold of the pram like this, both together, and pushed it right into the house. Push the pram, push the pram, both together, both together. Let's look round the garden while the children are indoors. This is where they play, isn't it? And just there, behind the fence, is someone they know very well. You know who it is, don't you? It's the wooden top spotty dog. Look, he knows we're talking about him. He's a very kind dog. And he's a very funny dog. And a very happy dog. And he's a very clever dog. There's some words he knows quite well. He knows biscuit. And he knows bones. And he knows bath. He doesn't like having a bath. As soon as he hears someone say bath, he runs away and hides. It's all right, spotty dog. You're not going to have a bath. Don't be afraid. Let's try him with the words again. And you say them this time. You say, biscuit. Bones. Bath. It's all right, spotty dog. No bath today. Now, Spotty Dog loves Daddy Woodentop. And as soon as he hears him coming, he jumps up and down and barks and gets very excited and rushes off to meet him. And I think Daddy Woodentop must be coming now. Because look at Spotty. Yes, here comes Daddy Woodentop. <laughs> there you are, old fellow. Pleased to see you, Master. <laughs> oh, there's a good dog. <laughs> down, boy, down. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> I'm rather tired. I've been working all the morning in the turnip field. I think I'll just have a rest. Yes. I'll wait here until Mummy Woodentop calls me for dinner. Are the, uh, the children home? <coughs> oh, they are. Has the baby been good? <coughs> Not good. Oh, dear. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> uh, look what I found when I was digging this morning. One of your old bones. <laughs> oh, don't you go hiding your old bones in my turnips anymore. You don't deserve to have it, you old rascal. But here you are now. There. <laughs> There's your dinner. Ah, oh, soon be time for mine. Here. What's happened to those flowers, Spotty? Have you been playing on them? <coughs> oh, Spotty. <laughs> oh, it's no use. <laughs> I can't be angry with you. <laughs> Let's leave Daddy Woodentop in the garden and go and see what Mummy Woodentop's doing in the house. There she is at her kitchen stove, looking to see if the potatoes were cooked and the meat was done. She'd finished laying the table, and she was making sure that everything was ready. She was just thinking that Daddy Woodentop would soon be home when she saw him. Hello, Mummy Woodentop. I'm back. Hello, Daddy Woodentop. You're nice and early today. Mm. Well, how are the children? Oh, they're all right. And how are you the turnips? <laughs> oh, they're not too bad. <laughs> Hello, young fella. I hear you've been a bad boy. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't, young man. Now, you sit still and be a good boy while I wash my hands. You behave yourself, young fellow. 
Mummy Woodentop bustled about the kitchen, and while she was doing her work, she hummed a little tune. Now everything was ready. Mummy Woodentop stopped for a moment to speak to Baby was bouncing up and down his chair because he wanted his dinner. So she said, it's all right, it's coming in a moment. And then she called out to the twins. Children, have you washed your hands? No, Mummy, wouldn't. No. Not yet. No, we haven't, Mummy. Well, come in and do it then. Yes, Mummy. Coming. Oh, up we get. Oh, I can't find the soap. Have you got it? No, I haven't. Oh, here it is. Oh. Good. Oh, I am hungry. Mm, so am I. Mm, we're, we're very, very hungry. hungry. I wonder what we've got for dinner today. Hey! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> no, soda! <laughs> <laughs> what, what have we got, got for, for dinner, dinner today? For dinner, for dinner, for dinner today. Nothing for you <laughs> but sawdust and hay. Sawdust and hay for dinner today. Nothing for you but sawdust and hay. Sawdust and hay for dinner today. <laughs> what have we got for dinner today? For dinner, for dinner, for dinner today. Nothing for you but sawdust and hay. Sawdust and hay for dinner today. What have you got for dinner today? For dinner, for dinner, for dinner today. Nothing for you but sawdust and hay. Sawdust and hay for dinner today. You have the sawdust, I'll have the hay. I don't mind having the sawdust. You can't eat sawdust. <laughs> you can't eat hay. <laughs> Come and sit down now, children. Oh, what, what have we got for dinner today? For dinner, for dinner, for dinner today. Oh. I haven't got enough room. Yes, you have. Move up a bit. <laughs> Push me. <laughs> ah. Settle down now. I'm going to call oh. Daddy. Are you ready, Daddy Wouldn't Up? Yes, I'm coming. Oh, well, children, are you ready for your dinner? Ooh, yes, Daddy. Yes, we are. We're very hungry. Hmm, so am I. What have we got for dinner today, Mummy Wooden Top? Sawdust and hay! Sawdust and hay! No, no. No, no, no. We can't have all that noise. Sawdust and hay? <laughs> Whatever next. Then Mummy Wooden Top began to serve the dinner, and everybody settled down to enjoy it. And there we must leave them until next time. Goodbye, wooden tops. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.